It's easy to get walking along and stumble over them. These metal, metal tracks right. are on like a steel wheel. Push them. Hey, what? Hey. Well, we're on a saw shop first okay. and we'll work our way in the back and come out okay. to the finish. The finish line's down this way. Okay. Uh, we've actually been here since 1959 and uh, several additions. Not the prettiest building in the world, but it keeps us, keeps us dry. Been adding on. Yeah, As time goes on. fold the roof down. Sometimes we have a hinge point here, a hinge point there. So this is the way the roof will fold down like this in transport. And then we get to the job site, the crane, you'll see better inside. The crane will grab onto some rigging and it'll raise this up to a normal pitch roof. And then sometimes we'll have, depending on the configuration, if we have openings in the walls, we have to put tall um, LVL structure mm -hmm. where we got to fold these down behind it. We'll do these piggyback trusses like you see over there. We'll build 10 foot sections of that. So once we raise these up, we're we'll craning in 10 foot sections of those to, to, to complete the roof. Uh, so this really, this hinge plate, this, uh, they're all my tech plates we use, really makes this work for us. Otherwise, you know, we, we won't be able to offer really low pitch roofs. And we can we can compete with whatever pitch you can build on the upside. Like we've done 12-12, uh, you know, our, cake, our story to have are 10-12 ropes. Um, but we make, you know, we make our own trusses. I mean, we're pretty much 100% self-sufficient here. We, it comes in with raw lumber and it leaves in the house. They get the set to run up and run some uh, trusses here. The other thing too is that uh, I have to be able to throw out there is, you know, like the, we, we recycle, you know, we're doing a green build project or lead certified project, the amount of recycling we do really, you know, does you know, gains a lot of points in that, in that process. Even our sawdust, we have a guy that makes up our sawdust that we're on. Dealing with, with whether it's a green 
build, Energy Star, um, you know, LEED certified, um, you know, that the green aspect of this really um, scores well. Okay, 
What's your name? Wes. Wes, I'm Dave. Nice, nice to meet you. You too, man. Good work. Thank you. Thanks for the description. Hey, no problem. I Appreciate hope you it. enjoy your tour. All right, thanks. Thank you. Uh, then it goes in the shop as a package to get the basically. Everything you cut right here. Those are some minor things, yeah. 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 Wow. One dimensional uh, wood gets cut the length here. Uh, you, you know, you'll see some cutting go on inside, but it's like cutting out register holes. More, more minor stuff. Uh -huh. This is where the packages are kind of put together for each, each section of the plant. He's just cutting blocking. we got carts full of blocking that the guys use for electricians, uh, plumbers. Um, they have these parts we fill with blocking and just pull and use. Awesome. Building next, uh, this building is our, was our original building, this barrel vaulted building. It's where we started production in 1969. Now it's just a warehouse. And behind that, Behind that drywall wall, we got a paint shop. We do all our own painting here. Uh, if, it's, if it's a stained package, it goes out. Uh, we have a shop up the street that gets professionally stained. Um, Roof doors and everything. So we, just kinda, we buy lumber as a commodity. You know, when the market's right, we, we buy truckloads of it and bring it in. Dimensional lumber, you gotta be careful this time. We don't stock up too much on dimensional lumber because being in the unconditioned warehouse, I mean, that's when you have a situation where mold could develop. Oh, right, uh, right. Sheet goods, not, not a problem, but dimensional, we kind of hold back a little bit on stocking up when it starts getting into humid. Lumber's humid. pretty high right now, I understand. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's going up. It's kind of like, well, it was climbing like 2018. Our first five months of 2018, our framing costs went up 35%. And then it, it started climbing again this year, and then when all this all the shutdowns occurred it kind of took a precipitous drop but then all the, they had curtailments and all the mills uh, were shutting down some of them permanently and then all of a sudden it's, it's going up and uh, i was looking at random blanks this morning it's climbed another composite some dimensional it's climbed another i think 14 so, yeah lumber is i mean you think now would be but all the retail stores i mean like studs it's hard to even get an eight and nine foot stud really? because all the uh, retail stores are eating them up. You know, it's the bizarre part when all this hit, everybody was at home. You think most people would have kind of conserved their dollars, but drive by Lowe's. They're doing the home projects. The they got time. Yeah, the well, it takes time to do that stuff. Yeah, yeah. When you have the time. So, so stud time lumber on. is is it's really expensive right yeah. now, and we're we're just buying it on a, a as need basis. Uh, stud lumber because it's 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 really insane right now. Um, so it's. Last year was a good number. It was a good year for us from a lumber perspective. Uh, you know, we had we had you know uh, just just great throughout the year. We had great lumber This is kind of where everything starts. So that that package right there came in from the cut shop. Uh, we're bringing in a forklift. That's the next deck they're going to be built. So they'll just start assembling. Hey Bill. Hello hey, Bill. How you doing? Doing? Good. Good. Might, might if we video you? 60. 60. So, well, sure. Say, hey. That's all right with me. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you guys up to? Oh, we're just giving a tour. Excellent. This, Excellent. this is our max length, 60 feet. This is, uh, this is 13 a wide. Yeah, 13 a wide box. Uh -huh. uh, so it's kind of a standard depth for us. We can go 15, 15 8, so we can go two foot wider than this. Um, this is pretty common. Uh, this triple band at the, at the mate wall is pretty common. We, we use uh, three ply, either two by 10, two by 12, depending on the, the width of the box. We glue it. We use a piece of material that staggers the line, which will help give us strength when we pick it up and move it around. Uh, we do two ply on the outside. We'll go through and we'll frame this entire thing. So we're on a level jig. The fingers, the fingers in the jig. All our blocking in for all our walls, uh, our cart blocking, all our walls upstairs, uh, frame in our stairwell and everything. Uh, and then, um, uh, then they'll plumb it. We'll do uh, the pick effects, they'll plumb it, do an air test, get the air test on it, so they'll glue it, put the heat it, and then they'll ring nail it. Did I get that right? 
I think you got it. <laughs> Can we pick it up? Send yep. it on up the line. Goes in the line. Do you ever run sound systems? What do you mean? You know, wire pre-wired for sound, you know, electrical. Uh, we, you know, we, well, Bill doesn't back here in the floor system, but if we have any more with the Wi-Fi capability, you just have to make it yeah, you don't need so uh, We had a couple of not that long ago, brought in all this copper wiring and trying to uh, wire it. I mean, we'll do it, but um, you, you just don't see the demand for it anymore because everybody's going to have a great lighting and sound system and Wi-Fi and stuff like that. Yeah. 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 I mean, hardly anybody's. We don't see the demand for it. What about though. security systems? Uh, really, almost the same way. I mean, uh, and a lot of it anymore. You know, it's nice to hardwire that stuff, though. Yeah, but a lot of it anymore. Um, at least, at least a base point. They'll do. They'll do a lot of that on site. I mean, we can. If we got areas that's not accessible, we can put a conduit in for them or something like that. A lot of that's almost, almost better off once everything's put together on site. Now we do some projects for a university that they have. I mean, pretty elaborate. Their yeah. life saving system in. They'll come in and they'll wire it. I mean, it's it's yeah. a pretty elaborate system. Uh, and they'll wire for fire, smoke, you know, everything. So, speaking of fire and smoke, you just do the simple. For code, yeah. For code. Interconnected yeah. smoke, smoke alarms and CO2. Uh -huh. Yeah. 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 So, once Bill's done here, he picks up that crane, gets into the production line over here. Awesome. Looks looks like it's a well oiled machine. It's not too bad. Be. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. Colin working over here. Pretty fun. How long yeah. have you been doing this? I'm pretty uh, new. I'm about in my first, or uh, coming up on my first year right okay. now. So I worked outside doing the same type of work. Uh -huh. You mean stick building? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yep. So you're a framer? Yes, sir. Yeah. I love this though. Yeah, oh, I can work it. Gotta love a roof over yeah. here. Yeah. Rain, <laughs> no, 10 yeah. degrees. Don't sure. worry about the weather in the morning. If yeah. it's raining, come to work. If yeah. it's snowing, come to work. Yeah. Right? I yeah. love it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the yeah. beauty of this. I mean, we, we work, you know, we've been working, you know, 50 hour weeks for quite a while, actually. Yeah. 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 That's great. And it's dependable. I mean, because you, whatever it's doing outside, we can, we, we're going. Right, right. Definitely like that yeah. for it. Yeah. yeah. It makes for a nice house. It never gets wet. Right. It's great. Right. You have to have yeah. You have to so that. many of them I built outside. I've watched water sit on their decks and stuff like that. Yeah. And it kind of makes you wonder. I know and it all dries out. Even on the piles of wood up. that yeah. are sitting there. They, right, I, right. I see those things get soaked to the bone. And it's yeah. well. Yeah, and they well swell. Yeah. And yeah. 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 It's, yeah. it's nice to work with nice dry lumber and watch it stay dry the whole way through and stuff like that. All right. Thanks, Bill. Thanks, Bill. Thank you guys. I appreciate it. You guys have a great weekend. You too. Thanks. So when they're done with that, they'll actually cover it with that craft paper. But you got to keep clean through the drywall phase. And once uh -huh. you get through the drywall phase, we'll take all that out and clean the box out. And, uh, <coughs> and then it's ready for filling. Uh -huh. Thanks, Bill. This is something unique uh, to the industry, really. When we frame, these are all exterior walls we're doing here. So when we frame an exterior wall, first thing we do is we'll put down drywall. And then we frame the wall. Our all our exterior walls are two by six. Our oh, mate so wall. You just lay the drywall first. Lay it down. We blow off the table, make sure there's no foreign object on it. We lay it down. We we'll frame it. Then when they get us all framed, they'll clamp it down with those bar clamps right there. And then then those totes up there is a two-part adhesive, which is that yellow-looking stuff over there. They'll spray up one, one half the stud on one side, one half the other side. They'll shoot the bottom and top plate. That's what adheres the drywall to the stud. It's a bond the entire length of that stud. So after about 20 minutes, we're able to pick this up with that crane, the 60-foot wall, and put it on that deck. And then the only time you'll see screws on our exterior walls is when they cut out that door over there, or cut out the windows. They'll screw around, you know, put screws around the perimeter of that, which gets covered up by casing. So you don't have any nail pops on it, worry about it in our exterior walls. And, and this bond, it, it does come, number one, you got to bond the entire length of that stuff. Number two, we shoot the plates where it seals off the wall cavity. So it's an in air infiltration, it helps, helps tremendously. So you don't nail these at all, just screw them. Uh, the, no, we don't even screw them. We nail the framing together. Right. But we use the foam seal to adhere the framing to the drywall. Wow. That's the only thing. And then when he picked this up, the only thing holding that drywall and framing is the foam seal. So we don't have this whole wall framed out. 
then it'll go along and spray. It comes out of consistency of like syrup, and then it expands into that pattern. Got the deck here, they'll set the end wall first, and that, that long wall they spelled in there will go right here. Can bring it over the crane and set it right in there. Wow. All the blocking for cabinets, uh, kitchen, bath cabinets, whatever we put in the walls and build them. You know, we have some solid screw through curtain blocking, uh, high mounted TVs. This is like that spray foam insulation. Kind of, it's actually adhesive, but it's kind of, it, that's what most people look at and say, oh, it's just like spray foam. It's, it's a different, uh, different composite. Uh -huh. it, once, once that dries, it's hard to get that. Oh, that's, that's like a rock. Yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah. So you just leave it. Look at that. And then we do our rooms the same way. We're going to drive all down for we frame it, and there's these hinge trusses we saw in the shop out there. And then we spray foam it, and then we actually run wiring in here. We'll, we'll wire the entire roof system before we put it up on the box. Just the whole wire in the roof system here. So when you when you um, lift it, is it? Yeah, the, the crane, I'm making the hook crane up this, these straps right here. Okay. Um, and then lift it, put it the hinge right here. These will come out. It'll be this one by in the bottom of these one legs. Come out. These, these little legs here. This one by yeah. be in the bottom of those legs, right. so they can just grab it. They'll bring it out and set it on this one bar right here, and nail it in, and the roof will be erected. And there's and so this hinge right here at this point is is, is um, yeah. The bottom of that will be on top of this one by four right here. I see. Okay. Yeah, and then it gets nailed in, and then the entire roof will be. On the sheeting, shingles, and everything. The, the only thing we leave out is the hinge point. Just to clear up. At the hinge point, we leave the road shingles out. So once we get this this roof up, we put that row of shingles in. Put the two modules together. We put um, ridge in there and cap shingles, and the roof's done. Then we leave. The nice thing about framing our perfectly flat surface. Put down the top of that. that yeah. Roof yeah. Doing, Good. I'd say it's pretty flat. Yeah. And that's what, I mean, what's key is if your foundation contractor can get as true and accurate a foundation as they can. Because when you're site building, you're building to an inaccurate foundation. Right. Um, here we're building on a perfectly flat surface, so like that deck right here. But if you got a, a bad foundation, the weight of that house will settle down on the deck. So a lot of people like to blame, oh, it's modular. It's the reason I'm getting cracks in my drywall. That's because your foundation wasn't really dialed in. Yeah, so that makes a big difference. It's hard to get a, it's hard to get a foundation perfect. But if you, you, it's really key to get one that's, that's, that's you know, as best as possible. Yeah, right. Yeah. right. You need the right guys for that. I mean, mechanicals, we go halfway up through here then. And drywall. By the time we get to that end of this run, we'll have painted drywall and the roof will be done. So here we have the roof in place. Yeah, they'll pick that whole roof up in the crane, and it'll go on that box right there. Right. And this is what it will look like when it's set up there. <laughs> I like it. Two fifty. These are temporary support for shipping. It'll come out and get the job site. Uh, so we've got those big LBLs up there. And we put, like, there'll be another module here. We'll hold the drywall back similar to that on this module. And then that gets put in on site. The builder on site does that, finishes that, takes this wall out. So the on site builder, I mean, they definitely have main wall. This is all main wall. Definitely have to do all the main wall, you know, where they come together, finishes. And so you have to tape it as well. Oh yeah, yeah, tape and float it down. First coat, second coat. I mean, you know, when you get these seams, you get windows in the back of the house, you have to kind of, you do have to bust the seams out quite a bit. You need a pretty good finisher to make that little seam. Right. So wait, this is going to open up. What's going to be here? Uh, 
over here that's a great room. Uh, that's a kitchen and the dining area. Oh, okay. The bedroom on that end. And then, uh, well, this is the box right that's here. That's the kit. Okay, that's a bathroom for the guest bath. Is that the guest bath? Uh, yes. That's a guest bath. bath and yeah. that's, that's a bedroom. That's a bedroom. This is all open today. Yeah, actually, it'll be this. box right here, it'll spin around. Oh, you spin this so one around. So that okay. room right there will be, will be the back. Right, right, right. Yeah. So this right here, you're looking to see that that poster right here? Yeah. That makes up against this uh, this stage is a pressure well that the wrap be like a nice decorative poster. Right, right. Um, but that'll make made up against that one right there. Nice. Okay. All right. This is uh, called a soleil, so this will have an 812 vaulted ceiling, uh, cathedral ceiling on it. That beam structure will stay in here. This will all be open ceiling above here. Which beam structure? Uh, well, that'll be wrapped. Those two by tens, those get all wrapped on site, and then the ceiling is finished. Whenever you have these open beds, we don't do a lot of cathedral ceilings or two vaults because the ceiling has to get finished on site. If yeah. you have like a finished kitchen down here below yeah. it, it's just, it's just not really efficient. We'll do them. But see, like this one, this, like you're looking, there's the island right there. Mm -hmm. This whole area will get this ceiling get finished on site right here. So it'll be like a 10, 12 vaulted ceiling in there. Oh, nice. Okay. That's really the only the three drill vault we do. Well, so the model that we sent you, you'll have that same issue. Yeah, if you want to keep it economic, I mean, the first model you send, we can, we can look at those drawings, I can tell you what I, well, the way I would see that go together, you're going to have some money in that thing, you know, I mean, it's, yeah. if, if you want to, yeah, I know Charles wants to do, you know, a $500,000 house for $120,000, well, we got to get real about it and say, right. we can make that look, you know, but you're not going to do it to sell it economically, so yeah. that's where you, we got to come to, you know, we got to come to these common understanding of what the budget is. Right. And then the other advantage we have kind of building inside out is, you know, we can seal the electrical boxes from, from yeah, the outside. Yeah, really easy. And really, we really control the air filter. Right. Right. And pocket doors in the main, well, it's maybe doing anything new. You know, mm -hmm. You can do anything you can do in a you know, site build. Just we're building in big sections. Yeah, you can't steal this though. No, you can't do that. No. no. Our, generally our house is because, number one, we're going to have more wood than we would have a site built house. Just the nature of the way we have to build things. We have more adhesives. Uh, you have a foam seal. Uh, we actually we'll, we use adhesive on our interior drywall. We use adhesive on our seating. Uh, that, I mean, that allows us to transport these down the road at 60 mile an hour and put them in place of the train. Right. You know, so that translates into a, a stronger, more tight, tighter home on the job site. Basically. So here we're doing our plumbing, our heat run, our panels. That eventually, I'll get all you know, all be wired, but right. be finished. Outside insulated sheets of roof. Uh, we put a shingle on to this area. Top wrap. I mean, we get multiple crates in on, going in on one one thing here. So, lots of stuff. I mean, we can build a house in here in less than three weeks. Start the home. Right. This is why we put the paper down. 
Oh yeah, you make a big mess. We can pull that paper out. We're not scraping a bunch of mud yeah, up. Yeah, right. You know, nice. it's, it's a clean new pour when we're done. Nice. Yeah. We'll sand it out, we'll paint it before it hits this corn. Our standard is you go in and just spray everything white. If you want color, we'll get that and cut and roll a color in. It's a distant charge again. You do what? Yeah, color. We'll cut and roll it we'll, you know, with a brush. Yeah, yeah. Right, like right now, it's just white. He comes in and sprays everything. Mm -hmm. And that's the standard. We use a tall wall sheathing, which is a, a vertical sheathing. It's, uh, it breaks on framing members. Uh -huh. you know, horizontal sheeting, you've got, you know, in between the frame members, you have a butt joint, air infiltration, air yeah. it's framing member to framing member, from the bottom band to the top plate, locks it all together real well structurally. Great. So once we turn the corner here, we're starting to put our windows and doors in on that side. We're starting to, you know, put electrical devices in, uh, further up we've got flooring, um, and then cabinets, and then trim. Before we go out the door to be finished. So how many um, do you have here at one time? Uh, we've probably got uh, maybe 16, 18 homes in the plant and we'll have mm, 10, 12, up to 15, 16 in the, in the yard. And what's, what, the reason we're a little more crowded now is our cabinet, because all that's going on, our cabinet backlog is double. So we're, we're really getting a crunch weight on cabinets. Um, oh. That is, is the issue. Oh, wow. You can see we've uh, had some Anderson windows in here, the black. Uh, yeah, here. Yeah. 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 It's a nice bath. I mean, it's really whatever whatever you can dream up, we can do it. Yep. Well, we, we've got a, we've got some real dreamers on our team. <laughs> so, yeah. let me tell you that. Um, and guys, who can make it happen. So here's your flooring. That's uh yeah. This is the pro. This is the series. Yeah. So it's a click lock product. I mean, we got tons of different colors. I think there's probably. Say, I think there's probably 25 different colors to choose from. Uh -huh. uh, and then we also have 12 by 24 tiles, quick lock, which is very attractive. They have some very modern looks. So. Uh -huh. yeah. And for projects, I mean, you know, we've got our standards, but we'll, you know, if you say, hey, I want, you know, I want to put on this particular faucet in a project. Uh -huh. You didn't have to hide. Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> yes, now this is one we, because of the cabinet backup. Normally we have our cabinets down first. Right. We had to block it out and lay the flooring because we just couldn't have our cabinets right now. Well, that's a, tr that's a problem. Holding you up. Yeah. yeah. Uh, hopefully we'll get back to normal leaf time. So. We put, we'll put vinyl in if it's uh, my side we're going to put off vinyl. If it's anything other than vinyl, it gets put on the bed. That's our standard trim, our standard trim, so wide, three and a half inch base, you can put a quarter of a half inch base, you're going to put it wide. How are you doing?
black one? Yeah, the black with the white. Uh huh. You're good. How you doing, Brenda? Not too bad. I'm like you're good. Good, real good. Uh, pressure watching you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can't work under pressure. Yeah, this farmhouse looked the white. The, the black windows with the white is, is right. kind of starting to become real popular. So all the siding's hand down, huh? Yeah. yeah. When when they go together, like you can look at this end of it. I mean, we put the siding on the long walls. So when the two modules are put together on site, the builder has to put the siding on the end wall. Right, right. And then what we do is we load up the house with all the materials. I mean, sometimes windows or uh, builders will buy like like windows here. They'll uh -huh. maybe be putting windows in the garage on site, so they'll we'll oh, okay, those, yeah, yeah. Uh, those are the mate wall doors. So those openings right there, once the other side gets put up against it or split jams, the builder will hang those, um, you know, and, and on site. There's there's still work to be done on site. Yeah. yeah. This is loaded ready to go. We'll see on the other side for me. Um, cars finishes with granite quartz, solid surface, laminate tops, you know, whatever, whatever market it wants. Granite's really popular. We're certain we're really just starting to see the quartz in our market. I mean, it, it's popular, but a lot of people don't like the price tag. Right. Good. Uh, no, okay. Normally, like I said, we're starved for kitchens. You don't see more finished products mm -hmm. in here, but we're actually in one. There's... Hey, Ron. Ron. We build around laminate tops here. The gentleman are at church. Here's some more standard trim. This Craftsman is flat. This flat trim is very popular right now, along with the free panel doors. Uh, it's a it's a really clean look. There's a this will be a mate wall door. So you have another two before wall here, and then the you know the, the builder on site will take the male and female side apart. And, and put this assembly sort. If I had to put, uh, we'll send rips of OSB, the glue, and fasten that around, and then set the door. So there's some carpentry finish on site. Mm -hmm. Now these are what, so you when you're spraying and all, what's all well, this for? When we travel, uh, we'll drop those down, we fasten these nylon strips, so no rain can get in the opening. Right. Because so, there's just going to be another, this will be an opening. That's a temporary wall. So uh -huh. this this will go into another room when it's yeah. half set. Okay. So it's just to drop it down and protect it. We cover the roofs with, uh, it's maybe half milk plastic. And then we put a tarp over the top of that. some tarp back here. So when we travel, it's got, you know, it's got good the plastic protection. and the tarp. Yeah, you see that. Oh, right. And then we get there, we're going to just took the tarp off, took the plastic off. Raise the rug and crane it onto the onto the foundation. Nice. Okay. Slabs in, we'll jam them, face them. Uh, this is a three panel. This three panel is real popular right now. That's, that's oh, okay. Nice. Yeah, that's a nice look. Yeah, we've got, we offer black hardware, we offer real modern hardware. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've got options. we got kind of mo options where you, if somebody wants a really modern look, we've got options. And then again, with projects like yours, we can, you know, go outside of that standard offering and you may say, well, I, I want all, you know, mowing fixtures or something. Mm -hmm. We've dealt that. It's not a, it's not an issue mm -hmm. but to kind of spec out something for a project. 
Awesome, okay. Push it out the end door, we pick it up with our trucks and go. So it's done. Yeah. Nice. Cover the earth. It says, okay, here's what we built. If you like one of these, buy it. Or you got your custom home builder. As far as I go, or more along the lines of that small There is, I mean, it's just similar to the site build world when you have the big production builders and pretty much there's a product we offer you. Don't come in with some crazy thing you want us to build because we're not going to build it for you to for, for a smaller privately owned company. Um, you know, we, you know, we have, I think, like six or four products around the building that's capable of this. You know, um, you know, or, you know, right now we're talking to them. You know, if, if you have a problem with, uh, Champion, good luck finding that way. You know, a couple thousand shareholders. You know, so you know, with me, you, you pick up the phone. I mean, you know, hopefully, I might do the first phone call. You know, but we got people that take those calls. But you know, you, you can dial directly into me. The stops there. You know, some are willing to bend and do things that others are a more rigid on. I mean, there's some that only like to do ranch homes. Yeah, yeah. Let me print that. Uh, 